Hello everyone, this is Subaqueous from subaqueousmusic.com and I wanted to go over some techniques and ways of using Ableton presets as well as making your own Ableton presets. So to start, I want to just show you how I've created like one of these presets and then I'll go over these free presets I have. I have 12, a collection of 12 presets you can get at subaqueousmusic.com and just download them and use them in your own music. Now, so going over what Ableton preset and effect chains look like. Um, to start, looking at this one that I've created, uh, you can see all these are knobs that you can basically take any parameter and map to them. And then here, which is really important, is the chain selection. So chains are basically layers of effects. So in this case, I have one layer, which is my effect rack. You can see all those different effects. And the second one is just straight. The reason I do this is if you press that button there, chain, you have this little red line there that if you right click it, you can map it to another, a knob, and in this case I mapped it to dry wet. So on this chain, it's all my effects and this one's dry. So when it's over here, it's just playing the straight signal and over there it's the effect. So let's, I have this ambient track that it's on, we'll play that. Um, oops, I have this other effect on. So when I go like this, and then all these can be added to the effect but this is just if it's on or off and these parameters all affect these different settings I have which are some grain delays, a simple delay and a verb compressor just to hold it make sure the sound isn't too loud. So let's turn this all the way up. So in the actual effect chain, the placement of the chains is in order. So it starts with a grain delay, which kind of is creating this frequency change and then a second grain delay for a different effect with a different knob and a delay and reverb. So you can affect these all by here. Let's turn it all the way up. So that's doing my simple delay. Let's hide this chain. It's connected to there. It's just creating that big melodic sound and then there's my dry wet. So once you create this, you're going to want to save it. And then you can save it under any name that you want. It's really nice to have a library of these effects just on hand. So whenever you want, you can just add them to your live, uh, your live set or in your production. And you're also creating unique sounds that no one else really has. What I like to do is I have my subaqueous effects and in here I separate them by melodic, sound design, these are like mastering, instruments, drum effects. And then I just have them all there so I can just drag them in. And you can also share them with people. So when you save them, let's bring that down. So when you save them, they go and see wherever you place them and you can actually drag them from Ableton right into your desktop or into a folder, which can then be shared. Um, and vice versa, if you want, you can bring it in, which in this case is the same thing. But you can just drag it into your Ableton into any folder and it'll be right there. 
Um, yeah, so now that we've gone over basically how to build an effect chain, I'll go over the different effect chains that I have for free with this tutorial, which are these 12 right here, which are all basically melodic effects, like in this case, this is a filter and hold, so it filters out the sound, and it'll hold it as it does it. And I have other ones like this is simple chorus and fade effect, but you have your feedback and there's your dry wet knob. Now in this one you can see like I don't have two chains because you can also do it if the effects have really good dry, dry wet knobs already in them. You just map it to the same knob. Majority of the effects that I have here are for melody and harmony and they're really great for in the studio and live. Particularly live, I like to use the hold and filter as I showed and this frequent ambient if I want to create just a nice ambient that I can dial in the frequency I want. And that can be a really good live effect. So let's end with this. Perfect. So yeah, you can download all these and a lot of other tools at subacresmusic.com. Um, you can get free instruments, tons of effect racks, presets, and things like that. So feel free to check it out and uh, enjoy the tools.